I have Vincent Tiki, bartender here. We're at the Kohana Hawaiian Article of Rum. Today we're going to be trying flights of flights of Article of Rum. Kohana, Kohana for $25 flights. Here, come with us. Stripes on it. More than welcome to get started. Water is a big palate cleanser if you want to go back and forth between them. Yeah, it's much smoother and lighter. Is this your favorite so far? Yeah. That's the favorite we've got over here. You like the second one? Do you have a favorite? I like the cocoa. The cocoa? Well, you guys both have expensive taste again. That's our most expensive. <laughs> 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 the caramels are second most expensive, obviously. Nice. A little bit of cocoa, a little honey, a little vanilla, a little vanilla bean, a little honey, a little bit of cocoa. Trash cans for our spoons. You each get a spoon and put the little two green dots together. Would you like to try the honey? You want to try the honey? You want to try some honey over here? Say yes, right. please. I got a spoon. I'll be right back with the honey, okay? For my alcohol drinkers, I recommend you. Okay, so for a good amount of our rum, we send it back to Manoa Chocolate and they make whole Kona rum chocolate bars, as well as rum chocolate covered macadamia nuts. But if you guys want to try a little bit of that chocolate bar, I have some. Delicious. Getting a little honey and everything to enhance the well, the vanilla yeah. honey. Do you like to try some Fire. Feeling good? It's good? Yeah, it's good. My favorite rum cocktail is a dark and stormy, which is ginger beer, lime, and a dark rum. So this is my go-to rum for that one. With these American oak barrels, we only use them two to three times because of what's called the devil's cut. The devil's cut is the nice spirit that gets absorbed into the wood. After two to three times, this is our cap strength bottle, meaning it's a safer from the bottle that it is in the barrel. Our current deal is 59.1% alcohol by volume. That number's handwritten in the bottom right corner because every barrel is a little bit different, so that number does vary depending on the barrel. And then if you turn it to the side, you'll see that it's in bourbon finish. This is actually put into an ex Jim Bean bourbon barrel. We play around mm. with these, so we'll get ex bourbons, whiskeys, pinot noir, shares, and tequilas. This one just so happens to be a bourbon finish. This one is a little bit strong, so go ahead and start with a small bit. If you do want a water dropper, I do have a water dropper. This one is our Canadian Bridal. Here's the water dropper if anyone wants to try adding a couple of drops. And just start with a couple, you can always add more. Sure. 